Today, I would like to introduce to you about memory B cells and its development. As you might have known, human body have different immune cells that help us to fight infection. B cells belong to the adaptive immunity. They can accurately target the antigens and eliminate them from the body. Memory B cells are able to remember the pathogens after the first encounter and ready to fight them off faster and more efficiently in the next encounter. With such a high specialization, memory B cells undergoes an extremely complicated development, as illustrated in this diagram. However, this process can be generalized in five stages. Stage 1. It begins with the migration of the multipotent progenitor cells from the liver into the bone marrow. The progenitor cells continue to differentiate into lymphoid precursors and lymphoid progenitors that is responsible for the B-cell lineage. Stage 2 Lymphoid progenitor receives signals from stromal cells resided in the bone marrow to induce the development of the bro B cells. These signals include VCAM that binds to VLA4, SCF that binds to CKIT, and IL-7 that binds to IL-7 receptor. The co-receptors IG-alpha and IG-beta are also observed on the cells at this stage. Stage 3. The bro B cells develop into immature B cells with the expression of IgM on the surface of the cell. IgM and the co-receptor IgA and IgBeta together are called B cells receptors. Stage 4. The immature B cells then leaves the bone marrow by expressing S1P receptor which attracts S1P protein in the blood. It migrates to the germinal center in the secondary lymphoid organs, such as lymph nodes and spleen. Within the germinal center, B cells undergo rounds of division, affinity maturation, and somatic hypermutation. The class switch recombination from IgM to IgG, IgA, or IgGe can also occur. Stage 5. The activation of B cells can be T cell independent and T cell dependent. Notice that T cell independent activation does not result in the production of memory B cells. B cell activation is initiated when the IgM and MHC2 of B cells binds to antigens. Then CD40 ligand on T helper cells binds to the protein CD40 on B cells. Other cytokines also help to activate B cells. The activated B cells then proliferate and differentiate into plasma cells and memory B cells. The memory B cells have a higher expression of membrane-bound antibodies and secrete mainly IgG in the secondary response. Memory B cells also have other markers such as CD27, which help to recall previous responses. And that's the overview for the development of memory B cells.